In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the GitHub API to update a GitHub repo. This is what the final result will look like using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you have everything set up, we can hit send. We get back a status code of 200 from the GitHub API, letting us know that everything worked correctly. Looking at the GitHub repo that I'm updating, we can see right now there is no description or homepage URL, but once I refresh the page, we can now see that both the description and homepage URL for the specific GitHub repo was updated using the GitHub API. Just before we get started, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download this exact API call so that you don't have to manually recreate this API call yourself. To get started, we first need to generate a GitHub API key. We can do that by going to github.com and in the top right, click on your profile, then settings. Scroll down and on the left hand side, click developer settings, click personal access token, then click fine grain tokens, click generate new token, name the token, whatever you would like for expiration, just select a number of days until it expires, click all repositories, scroll down, click repository permissions for administration, select read and write, and then scroll all the way down and click generate token. Copy your token as you will not be able to access this once you leave the page. Now we can look at the documentation for updating a GitHub repo. Here you can read all the information about updating a GitHub repo using the GitHub API. Looking here, we can see a curl command that we can just copy and import into Postman. So we can just click this copy button, switch over to Postman, click file, import, paste the curl that we just copied, update the owner value with your GitHub username. Update repo with your GitHub repo that you're trying to update. So this is mine in this specific example. Click on the authorization tab, select bearer token, and paste in the API key that we copied earlier. Click the headers tab and make sure to uncheck the box that says authorization. Click the body tab and just copy this value that you see in key and switch it to raw and paste the value. And then make sure to switch this to JSON. Then click the Beautify button just to make the format easier to read. Now I can customize whichever fields I want. So I will just edit the first three fields that you see here. For the name, I'll just do Hello World Test. And then I'll just leave the description and homepage the same. Then I will hit Send to make the actual API call. We got back a status code of 200, so we know everything worked correctly. And now if I go back to my GitHub repo and refresh the page, we can see the GitHub repo name was updated and the description and the homepage URL. If you want to see what other fields can be updated, we can go back to documentation and you can scroll through this list and see all of the different fields that we can update. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.